Welcome back everybody. So today I have a very special treat for all you woodworking types out there. This right here, what's in this box is quite possibly the best, one of the best jigs on the market for joinery. Um, I know a lot of people out there have that Festool Domino and swear by that, but Let's be real. I mean, that thing is like $1,200, $1,500. People, people aren't trying to spend that kind of money for a domino joiner. This is an alternative that works just as good. And whenever you guys see what it is, some of you might know what it is. Some of you might not know what it is. But once you find out what it is, you're going to wish you had it. All right, so let's open this thing up and let's see what we got. All right, so obviously we got some drill bits and spacers and some different type of things, but that's not what we're looking for. This is what we're looking for. This right here is the Dow Max. Now, for a dowling jig, it, it, it is kind of pricey for a dowling jig, but it's nowhere near the cost of a domino joiner. Nowhere near it. And if you look at this, I mean, it is just machined beautifully. Now, from what I understand, I don't know much about the company, but I guess there was a, some guy in Canada invented this or improved upon the design of a, a dow dowling jig. And I have to tell you, I mean, with the brass knobs and um, the brass threads, this thing is so silky smooth. I mean, it, it's incredible. It is absolutely incredible. I am just, I'm stunned at the quality of this. So let me get everything unboxed here and uh, let, me, let me show you all the parts that you get whenever you buy one of these. And uh, we'll do a little demonstration on how it works and how easy it is to use. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a look at everything that comes with it. So of course you get the dowel jig and um, the uh, drill bit sleeves, They're, they are removable. So you can remove these and um, I'm pretty sure they have quarter inch replacements. These are the three eighths inch and uh, you also get three spacers in case you're doing thicker stock. Like this is if you're going to be doing, um, you know, three and a half inch, four inch stock. Uh, this is going to be um, more for your two and a half, three inch stock. And then this is uh, your one and a half to uh, two inch stock there. Um, you also get a drill bit. You get some more spacers right here, uh, one eighth spacer, one sixteenth. And what those are actually for is, is if you're doing like a reveal on a uh, table skirt or something like that, that helps you get that reveal. Um, of course, you get your, um, your drill bit and your stop collar. And then this right here, what this is for this is to help space the jig out over uh, longer boards. Uh, so, you know, you can be precise in placing your dowels. Now, of course, you get your, your instructions here. Um, and I guess this is another, this is a manual. Uh, and then here's like some important points to know. Um, I don't know, I've never read that. But this right here is pretty cool. Um, this is actually, you can take your drill bit and it tells you for one and a half inch dowels exactly where your uh, bit collar and your drill bit shoulder should be, uh, which would be from uh, either two and 17 30 seconds up to two and nine sixteenths. That's the spacing that you need um, on your collar and your drill bit. And then for two inch dowels, it gives you the spacing as well. And then they went old school with it. <laughs> Check this out. They send you a CD uh, or a DVD here uh, with, uh, I guess, some different ways on how to uh, use the jig. But 
It's cool. I think the dude that makes these, I think she, I think he's an older guy, so uh, <laughs> maybe um, maybe he doesn't realize that you can just upload this stuff on YouTube and make it a lot easier for people to find. All right, so I got my drill, and uh, I'm just going to do uh, just a quick demonstration on um, you know how to use this this jig. I'm not going to go in depth because um, well, you can buy it and you can get the CD and you can. Uh, find out every possible joint you want to find. But, uh, so on the paper, it said that we need to be at, uh, for one and a half inch dowel, which we're going to use, we need to be at between two and seven thirty seconds to, uh, nine and I'm sorry, two and nine sixteenths. So let's take a look where we're at. So we are actually right at 1730 seconds yeah so we're just a little over 1730 seconds and in between uh, 9 sixteenths so uh, that should work just fine so um, we'll chuck the old boy up all right so let me show you guys how this thing works so you don't actually need this but you can store it here just like that um, and it's it's not going to change anything. So the way this is calibrated initially is is this is going to center on a three quarter inch uh, thick uh, lumber. So you can uh, that that's what you would use this for. And if you want to center it on on thicker wood, what you would do is is you would take one of these spacers and uh, you put it in here, and then that'll allow you to center it up on. Um, uh, thicker lumber All right, so a quick little uh, demonstration um, But before we get into that um, I'm going to show you guys kind of like the basic rules the basic tenets of using this it's a little different um, Well than other jigs I've had um, But basically the way it works to line everything up is is it references everything off of your check mark on your end here and then also on the back, it has a check mark. So whichever side you want to reference, you basically are going to put your check marks on the wood. And I'll show you how I do that. So right here, I have a couple pieces of uh, eh, close to three quarter inch pieces of poplar. And, you know, say we want something like, like this. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is, so we want to reference to, for the lines, for the areas to line up properly, we want to reference the top here, and then this is going to be our face. So we're going to reference that. So we want these two, we want this to be flush right here. So that's why we're putting the check mark here on this side. So then on your mating piece, you're going to put your check mark here. And then this is our this is our face side, so we put our check mark there. And then all you have to do is is you just line your two pieces up uh, with the check marks on the jig. All right, so we got our piece of poplar in the vise here, and as I said earlier, so we're going to reference the check mark here, and I don't know if you can see that, but the check mark there. So these are our, these are going to be our reference points. You can you can actually use either side because the distance is is the same. The main thing you want to do is you just want to make sure your face is is on that side. Uh, so we got our we got our check marks on board. So we're going to line our check marks up, and we're going to put our reference face on the face that we're showing here. So we can just take our thumb, make sure that it's flush. So looks like we're flush. Show you guys what it looks like from here. All right, so we are flush right here. And of course we have our reference face on uh, from the jig onto the wood. All right, and now we just drill our holes. All 
All right, so I'm just going to do three um, Dell holes. So we just take this off. Get the sawdust out of there. And bam. We have three hopefully perfectly replaced dowel holes. Uh, this piece wasn't exactly three quarters of an inch, so that's why it's uh, a little bit off center here, but it's not gonna matter anyway. All right, so we have our mating piece in here. So again, we have our reference face and um, our other reference spot here. And if you want to, you can actually even put a little X on where you're gonna be putting your dowels. You can do it on both pieces. Just put like a little X, just so you know where your dowels are gonna go. I might make it a little bit simpler. All right, so let's pop this in the vise here. All right, so this is our reference face, and then this is our reference side. So again, we're gonna put the reference face on there, and we are gonna make sure that it is flush on the side here. Right, we're flush. And now we're just going to uh, drill our, uh, our dowel holes. All right. All right. All right, there we go. So we got our dowel holes all drilled out. All right, now let's uh, let's put these pieces together and let's see how good of a how good of an alignment and joint we're going to get. All right, let's see how the old boy did. So we got our holes drilled in both pieces. We got us uh, three dowels. And here's some wood glue that you would normally need, but I'm not gonna use it with, uh, with this. It's just a demonstration. All right, so we just pop our, uh, our dowels in. And I have to say, it's a, it's a pretty nice fit. All right, we got them in there. And then our mating piece. Right, there we go. Put some glue on that. And look at that. I mean, once you put a clamp on that, secure it, that's completely flush. That's flush. That's flush. So, all in all, I mean, this, this jig, it's a fantastic jig for joinery, and you're not paying, you know, damn near $3,000 for a freaking domino joiner. Um, this this Dow Max, I believe it runs like 225 or something like that. You can buy it off Rockler, and you can, you can actually buy it directly from the website as well. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I came across it, and I have to tell you, this jig, uh, it, it's a game changer for sure. It makes it so freaking easy. Now, I know there's some other jigs out there, but um, the quality of this, I don't think there's any jig on the market um, that, that was built with the same quality and attention to detail that this was. Yeah, I mean, this thing is awesome. I've actually tried some cheaper jigs like this, and this thing is just complete trash. It's garbage. Absolute garbage. If you're planning on getting a dowel jig, do yourself a favor and do not buy this. This thing is absolutely terrible. I mean, one of the bits when I first got it, I tried to use, 
and uh, one of the stop collars actually uh, got chowdered out and you couldn't use it anymore and then the bit actually broke. I mean, look at these things. Look at the rust on it. And I've barely even had this out of the package, but I'm pretty sure drill bits shouldn't be rusting like this. This is crazy. But do yourself a favor, stay clear of junk like this. If you're going to get a dowling jig, get you a good one. And uh, with that, I appreciate you guys uh, stopping by. Appreciate everybody who's been subscribing and watching. And uh, if you guys have any questions or if you have any opinions on the matter, let me know down in the comment. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. And until next time, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.